Howdy, this is my final update for scaling data analytics frameworks for large-scale online courses sponsored by the online RAU program at Texas A&M University. I'd like to thank my collaborator, Dr. Dilma De Silva, for helping me on this project. First, let's begin with some background on our project. Due to the recent outbreak of COVID-19, educational institutions around the world transitioned to online learning. One big issue with online learning is how to proctor exams in an online format. Many institutions utilize services like ProctorU, which allow for students to schedule their exams with a proctor online, and others utilize services like Zoom, which allow the professors to proctor entire classes at the same time. Both of these solutions work in their own respects, but the ProctorU route costs a significant amount of money for the university or the student, while the Zoom route places a large burden on the professor having to monitor 100 or more students in a Zoom call. What we've been working on this summer is a framework that utilizes machine learning to identify possible acts of academic misconduct during proctored assignments. Our framework utilizes distributed computing to process video streams in real time for this process, although videos don't necessarily have to be a live feed for it to work. It can work with pre-recorded videos too. The system flags suspicious behavior from students and notifies the professor of possible instances of academic misconduct. In order for our framework to utilize multiple computers, our framework uses Apache Kafka to distribute jobs between multiple computers. Kafka is a high throughput, low latency stream processing platform designed for handling real-time data feeds. Kafka will distribute the feeds from student computers to Kafka servers in order to achieve real-time data processing. The reason we're utilizing distributed computing is because video is high bandwidth and only having one computer process video feeds will take a long time. Utilizing distributed computing, we can make this process real time and give feedback back to instructors quicker. Apache Kafka works in a producer-consumer setup. So in our system, a producer node would be a student's live or recorded video feed from their computer. A consumer node would be a dedicated set of hardware for decoding the video stream and running our facial tracking software on it. Currently, we expect to have a one-to-one -one consumer to producer ratio, meaning one consumer for every one producer. But with further setting and fine tuning of our facial recognition software, we may be able to process multiple video feeds from one set of hardware. We utilize Amazon Web Services for development by deploying an Ubuntu system for us to test our Apache Kafka system on. Our facial tracking system was written in Python, and with our Python code, we can track points on a student's face and determine if they're looking somewhere other than their screen or if they leave their computer entirely. When the program loses track of the student's face, it will log the time that the incident occurred and notify the appropriate people for additional investigation to determine if an act of academic misconduct has occurred. There are a few limitations that our framework has. One big area is privacy. With having access to videos of students taking exams, privacy is a very large concern for us. What we have planned is for instructors and approved personnel to be the only people that have access to stored videos. To help with privacy, stored video will be purged from the sister after a set number of days unless the instructor needs it for additional investigation. Another large issue is storage. Video takes up a lot of storage just on its own. To accommodate this, we would transcode all the footage to a lower resolution so that more can be stored on our system. And as mentioned before, video will be purged from the system in order to make more space for new videos to come through. With future implementation of this framework, we're hoping to implement it with video conferencing applications like Zoom to have it built in and made very easy for instructors. We're also hoping to improve our facial tracking system to be more accurate and not post as many false positives. Another area we would research is how to turn on machines on demand when needed to make the framework more efficient. 